Hey, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise Andrews and I make new videos every Tuesday talking about my post-grad stresses, successes, and creative endeavors. In today's video, it's a little shorter one, um, just talking about how I set up my bullet journal for 2021. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any thoughts about how I planned it or if you have any ideas for me. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Happy 2021, by the way. Okay, so here's the front of my bullet journal. It has some cute little stickers on it. And here's the first page by this artist. Um, I just printed it out from Pinterest. You'll see that as a common theme in here. Um, here's my full spread for 2021. I kind of got little bits from each of the pieces of art so that's going to be on each monthly page and I cut them up and put them onto the background of this and I use some washi tape for the border. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's really cute and maximalist -y. So here is my March spread, just an example of what one monthly page looks like. In this video, I'm going to be doing the monthly spread for March as well as one of the pages for February, um, just kind of my weekly spread. And so, yeah, here's April by one of my favorite artists, Monica Forsberg. I put all the names of the artists at the bottom of the page so um, I can take time during that month to look into their work more. These are all artists and pieces of art that I would love for my art to kind of take inspiration from and look like so I wanted to have these as reminders each month for me to you know look at them and um, just learn more about the art so yeah that's kind of what a finished spread looks like um, this is from January which I already planned um, but yeah so and I'll quickly take you to my notes section, which is at the end of everything before 2021 even started. I went through and I planned some of this and kind of did the layout and measured out the pages that I would need for each month. And I kind of just did that in pencil, as you can see here. So these are the two pens that I'm using. They are the Micron pens. I really just use any fine liner that I have, whether it's Micron or Faber Castell. So anyway, um, you'll see me now doing my monthly spread. I do little boxes. I think they're about four by four. I'm not totally sure from the video, but I just calculated how many I would need to fit, fill the space. And um, Friday and Saturday are a little bit shorter. I think those are three squares uh, each or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I go in and I do my lines. I freehand this just because I don't, I'm not really concerned with how perfect things look. And yeah, then I'm going to go in and add in my numbers, which again, I planned all of this ahead of time. I really highly recommend going in with pencil and just kind of schedule or scheduling, just kind of preparing the layout for your bullet journal for the year. This is about my fourth or fifth bullet journal I've been through and I don't get a new one for every year I usually or sometimes I do but I like to continue on so as you see this bullet journal is actually a bit of December um, and a little bit of November I think from earlier and then it goes into 2021 also had to put in my birthday in March March 5th is the most important day so anyway now we're going into February and this week is the end of January and going into February and so now I'm just kind of doing my boxes for my weekly spread. These are going to be where all of the days go in. Um, and kind of in this section, I'll usually just do a, my to-do list for the day. Nothing really too crazy because I, I think it'll definitely change when I'm working. When I was back in school, this also had a little bit of a schedule in it. Um, everything's really changed since I have graduated and I'm not kind of going along with class schedules anymore. But I'm assuming once I get a job, then that might change things up a little bit. But yeah, I don't really need to schedule my days these days. So in the eighth box, I'll put a little section where I can write down thoughts and notes for the next week. Um, and yeah, let's get into the next part, which is kind of my weekly overview page. I have kind of a box of all the tasks I need to get done for the week that I'm starting to draw the shape out of that for right now. And then um, I... So that's the task box. And then below, I'm so sorry this cut out. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it actually looks like. But this is my habit tracker. I usually just track three habits a week. And I'm assuming that will be art, reading, and working out. And But I like to leave the blanks 
empty or the space is empty just so I can change them depending on what I'm wanting to track that week. So uh, I made a mistake here and I did eight little boxes. I usually only do seven. Um, and so in this, th these are just kind of a mini calendar from like the big calendar you saw before. And it's just kind of where I put events that I'll have to do that week, whether that's uploading my YouTube videos or uploading my podcasts, things like that. So in that eighth box, I just did a little plant to put in there. Then I, of course, add the dates and the days of the week. Um, then I label it what the week is ahead and yeah, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm going in with a marker and these are the Crayola, Crayola Super Tips. Um, and I like to just add an accent color to my pages. I think that it makes it a lot more fun and kind of a little less like just utilitarian. But um, yeah, I really enjoy using these and kind of I'm looking forward to coordinating them with my spreads for each month. So February was a very pink um, painting by Anna Valdez, and I wanted it to kind of match that a bit. So here we go. There we go. Amazing little bit of a weekly spread. Um, I just wanted to share this with you because I have loved doing bullet journals for so, so, so many years. I can't even tell you. It's probably about five or so years now. There's the March spread we saw earlier and it's, you know, I could just buy a planner and that would be easier, but this is really fun for me to do and I like doing it by hand. So um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week for my next video or check out my draw pod on Saturday. Bye.